Attention will get you everything you want. You wanna sell a course? Attention. You wanna sell a t-shirt? Attention. You wanna be the mayor of this town? Attention. You wanna raise some money for your nonprofit because you're passionate about it? Attention. You wanna be an actor? Attention. Attention is the number one asset. Attention. It is the only asset that everyone in here must chase to produce what they want. Being unemotional about where the attention is is very important. Too many of you have demonized platforms out of your subjective opinion, a bad experience, and we must get over that hump. Once you sit in this room and understand that everything you want to happen is about building brand and sales in social networks, then you start having to get good at it. My big question is a lot intellectually know that we have a lot of super, super smart people in the industry, even on board level, but why don't they act and what would you help them on, on or arguing, guys, you need to act on social media and now and even on TikTok? Brand always outpaces sales. That's it. So what do you mean with that? Um, because the next question people ask when they say, okay, maybe 20 million views a month isn't too bad for a country with 80 million uh, visitor, uh, people that live there. Um, when do we make money with it? Well, I ask them when they make money when they run a commercial for $150,000. <laughs> you will you, love. <laughs> you, you know, you always make money when you have brand. Nike doesn't knock on your door and sales to you. You know it. To me, brand over everything. And the same way that, you know, again, Robin, this is the same old argument. Making content on LinkedIn every yeah. day is far more effective than buying a booth at a conference or buying a full page ad in a B2B magazine. Yet, because they've been buying booths at conferences or buying B2B magazine print for 40 years, they think it works but they don't think LinkedIn content or TikTok works. Yeah. I, I understand this. I just, you know, I'll be honest with you, Robin. I'm not in the business of convincing people. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not in the business of convincing people. I'm in the business of putting out my thoughts to be historically correct, to build my own brand so that people believe what I'm saying has more weight as my career with my gray hairs keeps going up. That's it. So for me, what do I say to people? I say, yeah. this is what I believe is happening. It's been very obvious that this is what's been happening for 20 years. And if you're not interested in adjusting to it, I think that's at the detriment of building your business. And how do you make money? When people know who you are and what you sell, they end up doing business with you. And this is brand building. I don't know what else to tell you. Let me give you an example of a real estate or a mortgage professional that is all day long one of the most clever moves everyone can do here. You start a podcast around the town you do business in, and now you're reaching out to people that you want to do business with, and instead of trying to sell to them, you tell the rich dentist in your town, hey, you're a pretty amazing dentist. You want to be on my podcast to tell people about your dentistry? Now you've just turned a sales pitch, and not into a sales pitch, but now you're giving the dentist a platform. Now that dude's coming to your fucking house. Now you're fucking friends. Now you get the fucking business. That's a good idea. And by the way, let me tell you about humans, they've all got egos. Even though nobody's listening to your podcast, nobody asked that dentist to ever be on a podcast before and he's fucking pumped. <laughs> As a DTC e-commerce brand, yes. at kind of a impulse purchase price point. How much? 30 to 50 dollars. Nice. That's a brand. Like it. Okay, so as that brand, yes. what paid advertising platform would you target before others if you were to just choose that person? Facebook, number one. Which is crazy, right? But like, tr the way you ask the question, right? Like, I only have so much money. Like, your biggest upside is probably TikTok, but TikTok ad product is not as refined as Facebook right now for DTC and there's enough vulnerability there that I'm not sure you know how to make the content for TikTok. What made everybody win in DTC with Facebook is you didn't have to make good content. Facebook was so fucking effective, the math worked for everyone. They didn't realize they were doing crappy ads. It just worked because the media was so goddamn underpriced and people like, 
big companies would rather do a million dollars doing TV commercial that none of you would watch than put into Facebook and that's where the ARB was. So I still think it's Facebook, believe it or not. But I would say that if you feel in your heart or your stomach, you understand what I'm saying about like make content for the platform and you understand the kind of content that could work on TikTok. And I would also say, here's a real good hack for all of you selling something in that range. Post like crazy organically and when something goes viral, turn that creative into an ad. I call that brand formance. You're doing brand, but the second the world told you, like, I like this video, you retake it and you turn it into an app, you know, you almost turn it into QVC, not a TV show. Like, you tweak it a little bit with a call to action and hard right hitting, like, bye, 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 and that will do extremely well. Perfect. Yeah, we've had some content on TikTok that's doing well organically, so that's why I was gearing towards that, but meta ads. Meta ads crush, that platform's so fucking advanced, and Facebook specifically, because you have an older demo that has a higher propensity to buy, but TikTok, the ads, the videos that have gone well, take them out again, tweak them with a call to action, put a price overlay, it's okay to turn it into an ad, and rerun it as an ad, I think you'll be surprised. This market is completely untapped, right? And I've tried a bunch of different ways to penetrate it and I haven't been able to do it. And I'll explain how I've tried, right? So I won this, the way it's How do you I, define the market? How do I define the market? What do you mean? Oh, when when you who, say who's the market? market? Yeah, sorry. Uh, sure, parents but. of those with autistic children and ADHD, children with ADHD, right? Um, so essentially, when this whole thing started, I was 16, joined like this uh, Shark Tank for high school and I had 20,000 competitors moving on. So then from there we got like this patent and, had, and then it immediately took on this like own world when it comes to like media success. From like local news to People Magazine in six mm-hmm. months to ABC, mm-hmm. Inside Edition, and it just kept going for like a year and a half, which is awesome, you know, glory to God. But the thing was that um, all our sales came from like publicity. And then once that went away, it was I really didn't have the skills to be able to make sense. create the, I get so it. we're still like pre-revenue, you know what makes, I mean? Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So it's a common story. Okay. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, media coverage mm-hmm. happens all the time. There's yeah. always a feel-good story. There's always something that the media wants to put at the end of a, they, they scare you to death for 49 minutes and yeah. tell you how world is horrible, and then they tell you like, a kid's got a chocolate business yeah. at the end, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and to your point, that shit can pop off and yeah. you can get a lot of sales, but to your point, if you don't build actual sustainable infrastructure, you don't then, have a business. Exactly. Okay. And that's what that's kind of what I ran into, like And you don't even know that the first go around, you just think it's gonna go forever. And it and it kept going. Right. It was so prolonged. And a year when you're when you're this young yeah. is like a lifetime. Well, it was so, like it was honestly like two and a half because yeah. it was all a high, the rest of high school and then But then did I you become addicted to that thing? Did you like think the only way like did you at some point realize no. fuck I need more press, I need more press because that became so, a yeah. drug yeah. So I was like it wasn't happens. it wasn't a drug, but it was more You know like, what I mean, right? I like, don't I don't have any other way. There's no other way sales. I'm gonna sell shit. So I was like, I guess I just gotta keep finding Let me just email the newscaster or fucking yeah, yeah. should I hire a PR company? Yeah. Like I get it. Like one of my one of my This um, is why I so fuck with social. Yeah. Because it's the one thing you can control. It's like working out. Yeah. yeah exactly. Like there's a lot of shit you can't control. You can control how you, you, you can work you out. Want. Same with social media. Like you can't control if People Magazine wants to fuck with you. Yeah. You can control if you make a TikTok. Yeah. So I remember like it got it got to a point so one of my own Advisory board members, I don't know if you know him, his name is, it's like an informal advisory board member, but uh, Jamie Siminoff, mm-hmm. founder of Ring. I went to him and I was like, hey, this press is going out. I don't know how else to get sales. Do you have anyone I know? And he's like, dude, you got to build that infrastructure. You got to work hard, you know? So for the last like year and a half, I've been just trying to different ways, right? So we went from occupational therapists and like ABAs, which they work directly with children with autism and ADHD. I'm just, by, I'm just making sure that we don't run out of time. Yeah. The next meeting, I'm gonna make sure you have your full 10. Keep going. Appreciate it. Um, so then I tried that, like a B2B to C route. Yep. And it, it hasn't really panned out. I tried, because my thought process was go to where the market is, right? So like, it's like what's the What's the website? TassiumWorldwide.com. So then I was like, okay, um, you know, maybe, the thing is, is that we sold over 2,000 products with this press and everyone loves the, the product, it's just, trying to get it in the, you know, the right people's hands. So like I said, tried to B2B to C. We tried nonprofits, but they didn't want to work with us because we weren't donating anything. 
So then we started donating a little bit, but it's just we can't sustain that when we're pre-revenue. My, my, keep going, keep going. Yeah. So we tried that. Uh, I tried organic, um, you know, with my story and everything, and it, it only went so far. And I'm sure if I like kept going, it probably would work. Um, but but I think that's I was, what that's like what most. Like that moment that yeah. just happened yep. is everything I give a fuck about. I know, I know. You know, I you know. Can, all four of you probably know, <laughs> right? Like, like school knows. <laughs> you know, like, you, but, it, but, it's, know. but bro, it's the fucking game. Like, like when I go to your website and it's not clickable to the TikTok, even though the logo's down there, like that's on my mind. This goes back to the fucking details. Yeah. Even back to working out, now that I've learned a little bit about it, like yeah. there's a right way to do a fucking push up and there's a wrong way. There's a yeah. right way to do a curl and there's like, and this is like how meticulous I get too, mm. back to the proper device you were getting. Yeah. This shit, Matt, like, bro, it's real simple. You're in e commerce. Mm. You're trying to sell shit. Yeah. You're trying to sell a shirt with an attached thing. Yeah. You need to do unlimited social media content so people become aware of it. Yeah, and then they need to go to a proper website. Right. Like, you're, you know, where like the shop is, like this shop uh-huh. is not maximized to sell the most stuff. At all. That's right, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah, 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 Back to like, fuck man. I was fucking really good at business at all your guys' ages, and like, this, these gray hairs you see now? Yeah. Like, I'm way better now, and so, but, but for complete clarity, like when you all go downstairs and be like, okay, what the fuck just happened in that 10 minutes so quick? Here's the clarity. You are selling shit. Mm. When you don't have unlimited money or any money, yes. in 2023, September 7th, 2023, and you are trying to sell shit, yeah. the number one thing on earth is organic social media at scale because it's fucking free. And I mean like 19 posts a day. Yeah. Or you're stuck in the spot that you're in now, which is you're yeah. begging for a fucking miracle that someone's gonna give you cash. Yeah. yeah and just pitch competitions with that money goes up. If you flipped it and just understood you're 100% in control, fuck a competition, mm. fuck a VC, mm. fuck everybody. I felt like it was like an M&M, like a, I felt like it was an M&M slash. Fuck a papa, you know, If you just understand that you're fully in control and you just have to pound social yeah. and start Googling how to make the best Shopify site selling t-shirts, enter. Mm. Literally, that shit is out there yeah. for free. Best practices. Get the proper Shopify, get your social crazy, mm. and start fucking, you know, start fucking, de- like, like, life's crazy. You were here on a thing, I decided I felt something, we have 10 minutes, you give your friends, I'm literally gonna wear this fucking humble hat. I'm so happy. And like, that. your friend's gonna be like, what the, like, by yeah. the way, that's one in a hundred, and yeah. that's what you need to do. You need to on the fucking, how are you getting back to Boston? Um, we're taking ferries later. Yeah. Beautiful. You need to be on your, yeah, you chop it up and whatever happened in Europe, but then you have to like start DMing people in Boston, mm-hmm. type in Boston, mm-hmm. fucking new in mass, Boston, all that shit, in fucking Instagram, hashtag search, top posts, mm-hmm. click, oh, this person's here, they have 400,000 followers, they're a cool kid in high school, mm-hmm. in fucking new in rich kid, and DM them and be like, I want you to wear my fucking shirt. <laughs> One in a hundred of them will. 100%. But if you fucking, like, I don't know, like, my whole thing is like, you know how I got here? By actually doing what I'm telling you to do. Mm-hmm. When nobody in the world knew who the fuck I was, I stayed on Twitter in 2007 from fucking 8 p.m. after I worked the whole day in the liquor store, mm-hmm. from 8 p.m. to four in the morning yeah. for fucking four years, every day. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you have two choices, the luck of cash, which is harder than ever because the economy's soft, though you're in a good school where some things could happen, or sweat. I don't know if there's sweat. Yeah, and I just think like, what most kids are missing, even the ones that are about it, and I genuinely like, even if you guys are sitting here, like I wish I was in class with y'all, you know, and be like chopping it up, like, I believe you have it in there. I think this generation, and I don't want to generalize, yeah, because yeah. I think there's plenty of unlimited, I and mean, you guys may be doing this, but I, here's the thing that I think the world fucked up for y'all. When I was coming up, it was like, we didn't have options. I, when I was in exactly your seat, the internet was just starting, so like, you had to like, go like, work, in a, work at like, the mall. Mm-hmm. You all know you can do magic here, because you've seen it. Mm-hmm. The problem is, 1% of 1% hit the lottery ticket of it happening fast. Mm-hmm. The other 10% that make it, eat shit for a decade. But everyone's fixated 
on the one percent of the one percent of the one percent who hit something, mm-hmm. and even those people quietly actually had to eat shit for a little while too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're gonna start an apparel brand? Fuck, man! It took you know how much Ronnie ate shit for how long before Kith mattered? Yeah, Rude wasn't overnight. Yeah, like, but it feels that way. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't know if I'm selling fucking t-shirt with a hook on the fucking thing, I'm fucking yeah. grinding for 10 hours a day on social media. Yeah. Instead would, of what you're trying to do, which is what everyone's trying to do, is figure out what to do. Mm-hmm. Right? Versus doing it. Yeah. yeah. Well, instead of pondering what fucking competition to apply to, mm-hmm. lay in bed, listen to your music, yeah, look at some girls, but then spend eight mm-hmm. hours DMing every single human in Massachusetts <laughs> saying, do you want a free t-shirt that has 100,000 followers? Put in their story, put that, ask them to put in their story because they're not putting a name feed anymore. Yeah. Snap shoot it when you fucking see that they did it, put it into your thing, amplify it with $8 because that's all you got in media yeah. ads. <laughs> it's people just lost that. Yeah. Because yeah. it seems like you can do it the other way and who wouldn't do it the other way? Mm. But that's fucking not real. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, my dream for for Tassim is really to become like like the Nike for special needs. I get it. Yeah, well, I heard you loud and clear. I think you can get it. I just think that you have to realize you have to go into a dark, dark fucking cocoon for the next five years yeah. and eat straight shit. <laughs> it's, real. it's super real. I see everyone who's popped off, and everyone's gonna like. Everyone's gonna think it was easy. It wasn't. Tell me, sh- tell me which fashion brand you admire. I'll tell you, like, how many more movies you want to see about Nike of how close they went out of business multiple times before it actually happened. And you know how much luck Michael Jordan was? Yeah, it was strategy and the movies will show you, but like, he could also torn both his knees. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? And one would have been it, but Stefan Marbury got hurt on their sneaker, game over. Mm-hmm. Right, like there's just a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I, At 34 years old, I worked in a liquor store. So of course I'm like, what are you, you know, of course I'm pumping this shit, I'm pumping to all y'all. Patience, like real, like eat shit. Like cool, everybody wants to tell me, but what about this, Gary? I'm like, the one fucking lucky lottery ticket? Go win the lottery then. What about this startup that did it in 18 months on some fucking serendipity of the stars, God's will, like you said? Like, okay, cool. Somebody won a hundred million dollars yesterday in a lottery ticket. You playing, are you banking your life on the lotto? So I just don't understand why people don't get how lucky they have it. I, I don't know if I ever would have worked for my father if I had the internet that you guys have. I probably wouldn't have made it. I would have made too much money before then. But I would have made too much money because I'm a dirt kid. And even the dirt kids have become fancy. Everybody just thinks it's easier than it is. Yeah. I appreciate that.